beautiful artifact comes from an area of great interest from an archaeological point of view, namely the medieval settlement of Ester, situated near the modern commune of Târgușor, in the gorge of Dobrogea, eastern Romania. Back in the day, the city stood on the main road of the province and was also known as Esterabad, the city of gardens. The vessel, a wonderful, skillfully made vase dating back to the 18th century, was discovered in 1999 in the ruins of a house which had burned down. It was produced in one of the ceramic workshops of the Great Economic Center of Kyutahia, a city in western Anatolia, Turkey. The vase has a floral decoration, a watery blue background on its entire surface, as well as thick black outlines. At its size, 12 inches high with walls of around 0.2 inches in thickness, the vase, ornated with specific patterns, may have been one of the small objects created in the workshops of Kyutahia. Although it is fragmentary and damaged by fire, the piece has managed to retain its shape and decoration thanks to the quality of the kaolin, of the coloring substances and of the lead animal which were used at its production. It is possible that, due to the rudimentary floral design executed with thick black lines and watery blue color, drained from the contours it was supposed to fill, the vase may have been produced in the Kyutahia style by other workshops, either in the Balkans or somewhere else in the Ottoman Empire. The objects produced in the Kyutahia workshops differ according to the quality of the kaolin used which came from various mining areas, the substances employed to make the paste, and the decorative patterns and colors applied. While in other great manufacturing centers like Iznik, there were mandatory rules and patterns to be followed in making dishes or decorative plates, at Kutahia such barriers did not exist. Esther, the place where the vessel was discovered, is a long-lost city, a mysterious settlement of the Middle Ages, often mentioned in historical sources, which for decades has stirred the archaeologists' imagination. The first written mention of it dates from around 1502, but much more concrete information comes from 1538, when Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent passed through Dobroja on his way to Moldova where he wanted to punish the voivode Petru Rares, who ruled between January 1527, September 1538, and February 1541, September 1546. The Sultan's military diary mentions that he stopped at Esterabad after initially passing through places like Karasu, now Medidia, Bulbul, now Ciocărlia, or Karamuratlu, now Kogelnicianu. However, a rich description of Esther came from the famous Turkish geographer Evliya Celebi, who first passed through the city in 1652 on his way from Babadak to Istanbul and then in 1657 in the opposite direction, traveling to Northern Europe. In his book of travels, Celebi writes that the already a century old Esther was a very important city in Dobruja, yet still subordinated to the administrative capital of Babadak. Most notably, the famous writer mentioned that it was inhabited almost exclusively by Christians. I quote, with many gardens and vineyards, inns, pubs, hundreds of shops and many Christian churches. Chalibi believed that it had about 1500 beautiful buildings, which means that it may have been an intensely populated settlement for those times. The Muslims who lived in the city were part of the Ottoman administrative or military apparatus. The fact that the captain of Yeniseris had his headquarters in Esther is certain. It is possible that the Ottoman vase may have belonged to him, adorning a room in his house. Of course, the object may as well have belonged to any other wealthy inhabitant of the city, Muslim or Christian. About a century later, Esther is mentioned by another Ottoman historian, Halili Nalchik. At the beginning of the 18th century, 
the city appears in the writings of some Western travelers who speak of the city of Vistuar or Vister from the Visterna river flowing nearby. But by this time, Esther's glory had faded. At the end of the 18th century, Dobroja became a battlefield of the Russo-Turkish wars. During this time, the city is referred to as being ruined and desolate. It had been deserted by its inhabitants, who were looking for quieter, more secure places, and it slowly sank into oblivion. It is possible that the vase survived those times of destruction and death. Fortunately, thanks to new archaeological discoveries, the third millennium has brought Esther back on the map of the cities of Dobruja, and with it, amazing objects like this beautiful Ottoman vase.